All right. We got Suga Aku sitting down to play with Keiso. Yoshi Kirby match. Spark has uh, finished all of his matches in the pool. I don't think he made it out. Uh, one, two sets. And yeah, we finally have other people playing on the stream. Okay, okay, so taking the first stock off of Sugaku here. Uh, Yoshi into Pikachu is one of the weirder matchups to play as Yoshi. Like, you have to have a pretty developed punish game. We saw Suga Agu earlier playing against Sparks and Fox, and uh, that was a lot simpler because you could just get a Fox off of the level and then kill him with an edge guard. Uh, Pikachu, like, he's gonna live for a really long time if you don't have those strong punishes. So find a grab, yeah, that's the double. Tech chase on the side, but no, Yoshi comes up a little bit short, landing on the floor. Big forward damage from Queso. And just coming down with these forward airs. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Foot snagged on a cable. Oh, the backwards egg! Sugaku wasn't ready for it. Could have landed an upper there. I don't think she's happy about dropping that one. Queso is just fighting so much here. Okay. Finally, Suga Aku able to take a stock here. That downer puts Pika in a bad position. She's trying to read the recovery. Gets the ledge snap though. And a grab, okay. She's getting some damage on the board here. It's just so much to come back from though. Queso had such a like strong start to this match. The back air is probably gonna do it, yeah. Queso okay, cleaning up that first game. Very strong start with the Pikachu. Uh, lots of like. Pretty good length punishes from Queso. Descending with the forward errors, that sort of thing. Ooh. Okay, big forward air. Suga Aki managed to double jump out of the pressure there. And taking the first stock in this game with that forward smash call out. Going for a crouch parry there just a little bit early on the shield. Not a big deal though if you're early. Queso uh, could have probably gotten a grab off of it if he was ready, but it's not as bad as just getting hit. Tilden to Nair gonna put Yoshi deep off of the stage. Going for an up smash there. I think a forward smash would have been a better idea. Weak up smash into back air finally, sealing the first stock. It took a lot for Queso there. Let's see if this one goes any better. We got a big combo coming up, but Yoshi parrying through the grab. For anyone who doesn't know, Yoshi's shield has a special property where he is completely invincible for the first four frames. It can go through attacks and grabs. Uh, we refer to that as parrying, and it's a very effective tool that Yoshi has that no other character has access to because of his special egg shield. Suga Aku opting to edgeguard Pikachu with the eggs and actually getting the snipe. 
Wow. Almost enough to take the stock with egg snipes. Uh, not something you typically see into uh, Pikachu recovery because they just don't have enough knockback to really be worthwhile. Uh, up until like at least like a hundred and more percent, Pikachu will just get way further with his up B than the egg sends him away. Keeping it close though, tries to walk away from the Pikachu on the platform. Tilt pressure going into down tilts. Uh, again, I don't, I don't know about down tilt against Pikachu. It was okay against Fox earlier, but that's because his recovery is so much worse that getting him into the offstage position is really valuable. With Pikachu, it's like, yeah, I think you just want to keep up tilting there, right? Speaking of up tilting, there's Queso getting like 40 damage off of just using up tilt over and over again. He's all over the Yoshi right now. This is going to be really difficult for Sugaki to come back from this. Gets the parry on the Nair. You see, that's why Yoshi's parry is so good. You can just block someone's move and then act immediately. Normally, if your shield gets hit, you've got like the shield stun to deal with, and you have to wait quite a while before you can move. And Keizo just down these for no reason, and it works also for no reason. Uh, that was very ill-advised. Anyone watching right now, uh, don't take inspiration from Keizo's gameplay because that was a terrible idea, and it just happened to work. Shoutouts to Keizo, though. <laughs> it's fun watching him play. Manages to take the set 2-0 -oh 